Want to create material boards that blow your clients away? Well, today I'm going to show you how to create high-end professional material boards using Morfolio Board, an app that makes interior design faster, smarter, and so much easier. Hi, I'm Kritika, an architect and content creator, and I love sharing design tools that make your workflow so much easier and better. Today, I'll walk you through how to create stunning material board for a living room in Morfolio Board app. We will explore some amazing features like magic lift, drop shadows, and ease web clipping that will take your designs to next level. Whether you are a professional interior designer, an architect, a home decorate enthusiast or just starting out. This app is going to elevate your designs and add a new level of sophistication to your designs. The best part, it's incredibly easy to use. You can work seamlessly on your iPhone, iPad or Mac. But today I'll show you how to create a stunning material board using your iPad. So let's dive in. Open the Morfolio Board app and here you can see all the recent projects. Now, I will start with a blank project. On the left side, you can see all the featured furniture. There are products categorized by company, category and recently used items. Below that, we have the library and Pinterest option, where you can connect your Pinterest account to access the saved inspirations. On the right side, there are various tools like share, crop, upload images, swatches, search, draw, text, save, and layers. Now, let's start creating a living room material board. First, I'll go to the product section and search for a fabric pattern. Once I find one I like, I will click add to board and customize its properties using the toolbar at the bottom. I will also add a shadow to this fabric texture by adjusting the opacity, blur, direction and offset. Next, I will add a wooden texture for the cupboards. I will rotate and adjust it on the board. Then add shadows to enhance the depth. Adding shadows in Morfolio board is super easy and there are plenty of options to fine tune them. Now, I will bring a black stone texture. I will click add to board, then go to the cut out option from the toolbar bottom. This time I will use the mask tool, select a circular shape and create a circle. Once done, I will adjust its placement on the board. From the toolbar, I can also control layer placement, whether to bring it forward or send it back. You can check and manage all the layers from the right side panel. I have already selected some materials and patterns on my Pinterest board. So I will open Pinterest from the left side panel. Here, I will simply click on an image and add to board to adjust it accordingly. I will also add shadows for more depth. I will repeat the same step for adding a white stone texture and then adjusting its layer by dragging it below in the layer panel before adding shadows. Now, I will search for a wallpaper pattern from the product section. Morfolio Board offers so many options. I will customize it using the cutout tool. Again, I will create a circular mask adjust the scale and add shadow to enhance the effect. Once my materials are set, I will organize the board composition to make it visually balanced. Now that it looks well arranged, I will start adding furniture elements. For example, I will search for a sofa in the left side panel and add it to the board. To remove its background, I will use the magic lift tool, which makes the process seamless. After that, I will enhance the look by adding shadows. You can experiment with shadows type 
for more realistic effect. Next, I will search for a lamp under the lighting category and choose a golden lamp. I will add it to the board, remove its background using the magic lift, then scale and place it accordingly. To make it blend well, I will add shadows again. Now, I want to add some greenery to my board. I will go to the upload image option, select an image from my gallery and use the magic lift to remove the background. If needed, I can refine the selection using the plus more less tool. Once it's placed, I will add shadows, which instantly gives a beautiful natural effect. To further refine the board, I will add swatches from the right hand side. There are many options to choose from and I can pick a color from a grid, spectrum, slider or even use the dropper tool. It also allows you to enter RGB, CMYK and hex code. But in this case, I will go with none. After placing and scaling the swatch, I will add shadows for the depth. Now, I will add text to my mood board. It's super simple. Just go to the text tool on the right panel, type your text, change the font, size and the color and tap done. I will add all necessary text labels to complete the board. Here you can see the final board and I love how it turned out. On the right side panel, you will find all the layers used in this composition. You can organize them, hide or lock layers and adjust the arrangement based on your preference. You can also import images directly from Google using the right side panel or use the draw option to add hand-drawn elements if needed. Finally, I will export my file. Morfolio board offer different export options, image, PSD file, PDF, and project file. I will export it as an image and save it to my gallery. And just like that, we have created a professional high-end material board that is client ready. Morfolio board makes the entire process so smooth and effortless whether you are an interior designer, architect or just a design enthusiast. Now it's your turn to download Morfolio board app and start experimenting. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more such videos. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the rate art icky for daily design inspiration. I'll see you in the next one. Happy designing and bye bye.